Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long didn't read version of Sakrathar the Eternal on Normal and Heroic. If you're doing this fight on Heroic, it has a little bit more health and does a little bit more damage. The boss starts off in this construct that has a frontal cone ability. Every time it does this, the three closest targets in front of him will get a stacking debuff put on them. You can set up a few groups consisting of two DPS and a tank to take these stacks, so that way the tanks aren't getting all of them. This green void zone turns to this green rune, and it'll trap you if you stand in it. This can also trap the adds. The construct will shoot an orb at a random player. Make sure you're not near anyone when you get hit by this. You'll also charge, leaving fire patches on the ground. These fire patches hurt you and the adds as well. Despite what you see in this video, it's best to tank the construct somewhere near where the portals spawn. The construct cannot be healed. When you kill the construct, Sakrathar jumps out of it and you can go into it. Whoever does this can do all the construct's ability except the small raid-wide AoE called Overwhelming Power. Sakrathar himself casts Exert Dominance, which you need to interrupt. If this isn't interrupted, he takes 5% off the construct's health. If the construct reaches 1 health, he jumps back into it and you have to start phase 1 all over again. Apocalypse is a raid-wide AoE that hurts. There's 3 adds in this fight. The Dominator spawns from red portals and as long as he's alive, he makes Sakrathar immune to all damage. He also puts this green circle around random people for about two minutes. Make sure not to stand near anyone. The Shadow Collars spawn from the purple portals and they have two interruptible abilities. Shadow Bolt Agony is a stacking dot and Volley is a small raid-wide AoE. If Agony gets too high, make sure to dispel it. The Haunting Souls spawn from blue portals and fixate players. If they get to that player, they'll explode and fear anyone within eight yards. If these souls come within five yards of the construct, they do a lot of damage to it. Generally, you want whoever's driving the construct to kill the adds. Any adds that they don't kill, the rest of the raid should be picking up. If you're in the construct, all you want to do is charge towards the portal and create a fire patch, then drop a prison near that portal so all the adds coming out of it will get stunned in the fire. If nothing else is up, just throw out an orb or do the frontal cone ability. Keep in mind that everything that you do as a construct still does affect your raid, meaning if you spawn a prison on your raid, they're gonna get trapped. You can pop all your offensive cooldowns as soon as Sakrathar comes out of the construct. Defensive cooldowns should be saved for Apocalypse if needed. That was a too long didn't read version of Sakrathar the Eternal on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day!